so you said you got your opponent kind of bloody. Tell me how that happened. Um, you know, we, first I went in, tried to just use my range because I knew he was shorter. Um, caught him with a couple of hard crosses, and then um, once I seen that that hurt him, I just went in and started attacking more. And you know, he tried to clinch, and I just threw a couple knees and just controlled the fight. How deep into the fight did you feel confident and feel like you had him? Um, probably after the first hard shot, I seen he kind of slowed down, and that's when I knew I could just like stick to my game plan. How good did you feel coming into this fight? Do you have you know family and friends here supporting you? Was yeah. I had a lot of family and friends. Um, I was a little nervous at first because he had no, he didn't have any videos up or anything, so I really didn't have anything to look at. So it was just kind of like a surprise. But you know, once I got in there and you know I seen the ring, it kind of just went out the window. I got, I felt real comfortable. Is that a big part of it for you in preparing, checking out the other guy, getting a scouting report? Um, sometimes, but you know, it depends because sometimes people people improve a lot since their videos. But it's good to watch something. Um, but sometimes when you don't watch something, it keeps you more on your toes because you don't know what to expect. Now, what goes into training for a competition like this for you? Um, just lots of cardio, a lot of a lot of sparring, a lot of hard sparring, um, a lot of bag work. Just mostly just a lot of hard sparring too. That's like the key. You know, so you're ready for those big shots. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Are right, you welcome?